Every year, the San Diego Regional Chamber of Commerce hosts members of the region's congressional delegation. Jerry Sanders is the chamber's president and CEO. It's important because federal policy really affects San Diego. It affects us at the border, affects tourism, the airport, affects the money that we get. Today's goal was to discuss the critical issues facing Congress and the policy and legislation that directly impacts the San Diego community. Several representatives addressed the border, including Congressman Juan Vargas of the 51st District. The problem that we have at the border right now is really how long it takes to move goods, services, and people across the border. Now, we have, in fact, spent a lot of money making the border more efficient. The problem is that we don't have enough staff, and we're trying to get more staff to make things move more quickly and expeditiously. Obviously, it's something that really impacts our economy, our community here in San Diego. In San Diego, we see the border not as a threat, but as an opportunity. It generates a lot of jobs and commerce. It's part of our culture as well as part of our economy. Veterans were another major concern. Thousands live here in San Diego, and many are waiting for the passage of the PACT Act a bill to expand medical care for vets exposed to toxic chemicals. America has to keep its promise to its veterans. Uh, these people have sacrificed more than they bargained for, and we need to support them through the passage of this bill. Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs addressed the lack of access to high-quality, affordable child care. Even before the pandemic, we had 60% of families in San Diego County who couldn't find child care that met their needs, and we know that it's only gotten worse since more than 500 child care centers have closed since the pandemic. Election politics did come up, and Republican Congressman Darrell Issa predicted the House would flip back to his party's control. Assuming that for a moment, even if it's by a small amount, it means we'll be back to divided government, back to what I think the American people are pretty comfortable with, no one party running things, but rather uh, genuine compromise being necessary in order to do everything. While the luncheon was a chance for the representatives to tell business leaders what they've accomplished, Sanders says he hopes they'll also take what they've learned back to Washington. What we hope is that the uh, representatives leave here knowing exactly what the business community in San Diego thinks and what we value. Melissa May, KPBS News.